I already got my rust move in my head. So I'm basically mm. just like timing it up. So how about this, right? Let's just say you've been beating up on these characters, man, beating up on Oklahoma State all game. Can you see this? You can see the film, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's just say you've been beating up on these guys all game. You say that you rush with a plan. You always have a plan. Do you remember what your plan was when this happened? Will McDonald, number yeah. nine, on the right side here for the audience watching, man. What? Just tell me through something that was uh, that was uh, going on right here, man. I mean, so like to be honest, I knew he wasn't that great of mm -hmm. it, like on on this post leg. Yeah. And I have also watched film on him that the rip move, you know, works a lot. And like the rip is kind of like my go-to move also. Mm. So I figured I was definitely gonna work on that. So. I'm basically just timing a snap, and I'm just trying to stay in my little lane mm -hmm. and just get past them. I see, actually do remember this play. I end up getting two sacks in a row. Back to back. We got it. Trust me. Yeah. We got it. So you talk about your rip move, which is fantastic, man. But this right here is good. This is what's going to make you a lot of money right here. This is going to make you a lot of money. Is that band, man. Just, just getting around those corners, being able to flip those hips and get to that quarterback, man. Do you practice Ben? You just roll out the bed, Bendy, because we see videos you jumping over cars. You know what I mean? Like, do you just roll out the bed, Bendy, or is that something that you worked on? I mean, it's it, it's it's definitely something that I had a uh, critique. Um, I do a lot of uh, judicial uh, martial arts, mm. and uh, you know, I'm, I'm I'm always running the hoop. Like, whenever you know I start, you know, I'm um, training and everything. That's like the first. That's like the first drill that I'm thinking about doing is running the hoop. Mm. But um, you know, I I just think you know with stuff like that, you know, like I, I did. Uh, I did basketball. Um, I played uh, soccer. I was a goalie. Mm. Um, I wrestled too. Damn. And uh, I played a little bit of baseball. And so, you know, I just take, you know, all of those things. You know, with, with basketball, I just use quickness, mm. um, footwork, uh, goalie, you know, hand out coordination. Sure. And, uh, you know, I got my judicial. That's, um, I'm just basically just like working on like my balance and everything. And I kind of just put everything together. And then, you know, just watching Von Miller and them, uh, mm. Mike and them. Yeah. Uh, Aaron Donald, you know, because I, I was playing interior too. So I watched Aaron Donald. I watched Frank, uh, Kenny Clark. Sure. You know, it's like just learning from all them dudes. Now, this play, this is one of my favorites, man. And, um, you know, do they have a nickname for you at Kansas State? Because every time you line up against those dudes, you just got two sacks. Two sacks. Two, just, just, that, I, just I, go ahead. I did. I did. Uh, I did peep that every time I watched the games. I was like, I always get two sacks against them. You get busy sack. versus you get busy versus yeah. these kids. This my this my favorite sack of yours, man. This shows nuance, man. This shows rushing with a plan. A lot of people can say that they rush with a plan, and I just kind of ask you, you know, just to ask interview question. But this proves to me that you rushing with a plan. You get enough field, and you're gonna faint this bull rush. I'm not bull rushing you, bro. I'm just getting you off your square, man. Ah, then hitting you with your favorite rip. You just told me rip is your favorite move then you're gonna get a little bit of bend on the back end with a strip fumble like did i pretty much read this right yeah yep you did and like the way how you know i'll put it okay. you, so you watch uh you watch um some anime 100 and so you know how like so i'm, I'm assuming you watch back dragon ball z 100 and so remember when uh goku uh was fighting uh bears mm -hmm. and uh you know bears was just kind of just like you know just like uh being up on yeah, Being toying with him, playing with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so when Bears told him, he said, "You are getting stronger and better," um, because it, it it was you know it's the one scene where him and Goku's fight, and then Goku just randomly just like rushed towards him. Yeah, and then Bears was gonna kill him with that one strike, but he went he like backed up once he got close to Bears, mm. and that was him. Um, that was him just like moving without thinking. And so you were like, setting him up all game. He was just feeding into that. Oh, he's going to speed rush me, speed rush me. He's probably going to engage me. And when you finally, when he thought that you were going to engage him, yeah. it took him off his feet. It took him off his balance. He, you know, gave his hands here. He got a little leaning. His base got bad. And when somebody's base is bad against you, it's bad business, huh? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like just, I'm basically just like, because I had like a lot of reps on it. And so I'm mm -hmm. basically, I'm just letting my, but I always got a plan. Yeah. But I'm just letting my body kind of like react to everything that I'm basically making them give me. So here I'm rushing up field. I know he's going to turn his shoulders and he's like, I can easily take the inside if I want to. Mm. And like from an O-lineman's perspective, he's not thinking about, you know, being straight uh, down the line right. of like my chest and everything. He's thinking about like, Oh man, all right, you know what? He's he's real fast. Let me see, let me hurry up and kick out. Blah sure. blah. Like that's what he's thinking about. So I'm just kind of like abusing that. Yeah. You knowing that power, rushing up field, getting their shoulders turned. Yeah. And uh, you know, just uh working off that. But I'm always always got a plan, always got a counter on top of that counter. Sure. You know, I'm I'm always thinking. Cause every time I'm on the line, especially in this defense, mm -hmm. I always had to think about all right, 
I got to get past like three dudes. How yeah. I'm gonna do that? Because and I'm obviously know they're gonna slide it my way. And so like my rush is I'm gonna get him out the way. I'm gonna leave him up. I'm gonna get him out the way. Mm. Then if I got the guard, I can get that one on one with the guard. If I leave, if I leave the center up, I mean if I leave the tackle upfield, mm. I can hurry up and get like Delhi a tight space. Right. And so I was always good at working with tight spaces because like that just helped with uh, my judicial that I be doing. That's and fire, I, bro. I, I just try to work my hands. That's fire. Let me ask you a question, and I kind of think I got the answer to this already, but who's the best offensive lineman that you've gone against in college? I mean, I, I don't, like, I don't really look at it that way. Sure. I mean, I'd probably say, like, TCU was probably the best O-line. Mm. Um, as for, like, you know, just going against, like, any O-lineman, yeah. you know, I'd probably say at the Reese's Bowl. Yeah. Um, what's his name? Um, From uh, Alabama. Uh, left tackle. Um. Steen, Steen, yes, Steen, really, man. Steen, yeah, really, he's man. a real good tackle that I went against. Um, so I definitely give credit to him. But I mean, as as for like any like if it's one on one, like yeah. my mindset is like I'm I'm not about to let you be. Like Smart. I always got a plan. You know, I'm like I'm it's it's, it's me and you, bro. Like for real. fantastic. Uh, I got I got full confidence in me being anybody. Let me ask you this about is another player. He's probably gonna get drafted, kind of similar to where you're gonna be drafted. This kid, Anton. Anton Harrison, yeah. left tackle from Oklahoma. Maybe a late first, early second guy. We don't know. Draft coming up. You just kind of run this play. I'm gonna ask you what the hell happened here, man. You know, this just made me giggle when I saw this. This is one of the best tackles in the in the draft right here. Will Anderson. Mm -hmm. You know, what what was going on right here, man? Why you did my guy like that? Talk to me. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I was I I, I was already banking on doing a rip move because mm -hmm. you know it's like they like behind the line of scrimmage, you know, I got, we could potentially get a safety. Yeah. I'm already knowing that if he turns me yeah. and rush upfield, then I'm going to be out of the play. And so I know, you know, with his, uh, with, um, or whatever they got going on. Sure. If I'm an old lineman and, you know, we in this position, I'm mm -hmm. just trying to rush him upfield. Right. To, you know, uh, get him, uh, get him past the QB depth. Yeah. I'm already knowing he thinking that. So, I'm doing a real. I'm. I already had this plan, mm. so I basically made him give. I, I, I made him give what I wanted to see. Sure. So I'm. I'm doing my little rust move. I'm leading my field. I feel the pressure on my back. Instantly stop because so I know his. Like he, he a big dude. He's not gonna be able to stop his momentum like that. I feel it about right there, and I'm like, all right. You know what? Let me go ahead and just plant right here. Come up under him. You mm. know, make the play. Funny you say that too, right here, because I can actually see your left hand working to get you back inside right here. Since you just said it right there, that makes sense. Since you just said that right there, just see me just uh, run this play. Ah, get back inside. Makes sense, man. Makes sense. I ain't gonna hold you for too long. But just two more plays. We good. Two more plays. We good. Two, hey, you two cool. I'm, I'm I'm here. I'm here for you. Oh uh, man, shout out to you, brother. Shout out to you. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What's what's another one of my one of my favorite ones? You was talking about the uh, TCU kids. He's talking about the TCU kids here, man. Talk to me about this, man. You lined up here on the, on the uh, left side of the screen. And this could be another example of they're so afraid of your outside presence, right? That they just give you B-gap, right? Mm -hmm. Like, hey, bro, here's B-gap. Take this from me. Talk me through this. So, I mean, I, I recognize I got the one-on-one -on -one kind of quick. So, yeah. I know he's scared, to be honest. I'm basically just dancing with him. Mm. Um, I'm, I'm trying to lead him upfield. He should know better though, because I didn't immediately like go upfield. You know, like ta some tackles can see that, and so like you know, if you're doing like your leg, you know, stutter step, yeah. you know, they punch you right away to stop. Yeah, you know, uh, stop your line. But like I know he's scared, so I'm basically just you know uh, trying to dance with him. Mm -hmm. I see him throw that hand, and like I said, the closer I get to him, I know he gonna punch. So I'm I'm just timing it, mm. you know, at, at the point of attack, and then I'm making my move and get under. Fair enough, sir. Fair enough, sir. Quick six is what they call it in the offensive line world. One step, they try to shoot at you because, you know, you're a smaller guy than him, so he's trying to play power game with you and get hands on you. But, hey, man, if you if you miss, <laughs> if you miss, you end up leaning just like that. And yeah. that's, that's, uh, that, that, that is not good business, sir. That's not good business. Fantastic sack, bro. Uh, and let's get one more in, man. I feel like I, I got like 30 plays of you just, man, look at what he did right here. Look at what he did right here, man. And you did it from all different, all different platforms. That was fun. Um, you got a spin move that's pretty nasty and I'm looking for it right now. Tell me about your spin move, man, as I go find this play for me, man. To be honest, I got that from Max Crosby. You know, I was, I was watching his film uh, one day and uh, I was just like, you know what? I like that. Mm -hmm. You know, let me go downstairs and try to practice it. And so, you know, I just practice it, uh, I critiqued it. You know, I just I uh, do what this I have to right do. Here. Come on, man. Come on, man. Check out my guy, man. Check out the spin move. 
on a guard, by the way, on a guard, like your spins, man. It's like you, you put all the arm length into it and you really get wiggly with it. Like, you know, like, so you, you practice this and it's just something that, you know, that you just got a feel for. And, you know, this is just one of your go-to moves here. Yeah. I mean, I'm real good with like playing. It yeah. is definitely one of my go-to moves. Uh, my go-to move. Yeah. But I'm basically just, you know, like I already got it in my head. You know, if I know I got space, mm -hmm. then yeah, like I'm gonna use it because I know I can like come, I can spend kind of quick and just like come around mm -hmm. and uh, tap his ass. So, yeah. you know, it's definitely one of uh, my favorite things to do. I just I love to set people up and just like abusing my speed. You know, have them thinking I'm going to field or I'm going inside mm -hmm. and just do like a quick and easy spin with it. So. It's definitely one of my favorite moves. And, like, before this game, that's when I was uh, watching Max Crosby. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try to do it this game, and I want to see if it works. Wow. Soon enough, it did.